Uh, what's going on guys? How y'all doing good? So we're back out. We're on a canal again today. Same canal I fished last week. Fished with the Kofi Perch and the Buzz Bait. Had a lot of hits, but we were struggling to present the baits because of the grass in the water, the weed, whatever you want to call it. It looks like grass to me. I'll show you some right now. That's what it looks like. And yeah, it makes it difficult to present normal baits with trebles and stuff. So we're going to be fishing weedless today. Got the drunk baits, 16 centimeters, 8R offset hook on this. Use these a ton. Quite difficult to get hook sets, but you can fish it through the grass. Super nice. Get a good presentation when the pike is sat in there. They come out and smash it. So hopefully we get a few smashes today. Hopefully we can land some fish. Nice just getting a ton of hits, but yeah, we want to land some fish as well. So let's see how this goes. Let's get some water covered. 16 centimeter drunk bait. This is an 80 Savage gear. Super wide gate hook. Nice little underspin on it. It's a little bit of colour in the water. So that'll help us a little bit. See if we can find some fish. Hopefully it. they'll be exactly where I'm expecting them in the weeds. That was a fish. That was a fish. Gentle bite right there. There we go. It came back for it. It came back for it. Well, it's not a tiny but it's hooked at least. First one, a little bit of a war wound on him, but that's hooked. The bottom lip, that that's really a uh, weird place. Did you get that first fish? Got two or three pounder. Out, lightly hooked, perfect. Bro. <laughs> it didn't take too long today. Blow up. 15 minutes. So yeah, not too bad. On that weedless rig, like I say, fishing on the grass. And yeah, we had a very light bite off it. And then came back a second time and slammed into it. Well happy to get that fish. Not fished this bit for a long time. A little bit unusual to get it hooked in that bottom lip. When we hooking in the top of the mouth with weedless, but if it took it on a pause, Lerm might have rolled when he took it or something like that. No, oh, that was a fish. That was a fish then. Oh, pretty slow bite there, but very, very late reaction from me. Go a little bit further along this way and then actually go fish where I came to fish. Wasn't planning on fishing up this direction at all, but just thought I'd give it a go because it looks nice and grassy. Nice to pick up a bear when it's fish. That's, oh no. Look at what on the troll. Right guys, getting towards the stretch I came to fish now. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the pike are there. Fish day last week and there was six fish sat super close together. It was hard to present a bait to them because of the grass. So fingers crossed, now we've got some weed less we can, yeah, get some caught. Talk a little bit louder now as well, now away from the boats. Not a big fan of talking to myself <laughs> when there's people watching me, it's a bit weird. But yeah, let's get, get to the grassy area and get some big old pike caught, hopefully. Right, made it to where I want to be. This is where the grass is, the weed and everything, so should be some pike here, hopefully. There was last week. I said uh, contact with six, and there will have been more than that, and that was at like midday, so evening time. Should be a few more biting, hopefully. And I'll be able to present the baits effectively as well. But this is the sort of weed we're talking about that we fish around. I call it grass because, you know, it looks like grass. But this sort of bait, you can fish through it. If you don't pull on the lure too much, come through without any weed. Oh, the pike followed it then. The pike followed it out of the weed then. Just turned as I lifted it out while I was doing a little demonstration. Now, there you go. Shows exactly how it works. Put it through the weed. And the idea is the pike will come up and whack it if they sat right in that weed bed, which evidently one was. 
shame, shame it's army. Nice little follower there. Might come back for that at the end of the session. I don't think I'll take it now, but yeah, as you can see, you can work it through that weed nicely. Unlike, you know, a trebled bait or something, you just get weed snagged on it and it's a, a nightmare, which is the reason why I come with this one. Annoying that that one just followed it though. Man, well, it would have been such a cool take with the whole of the camera on the bait as well, but yeah, follow us. I know there's pike around. That could have been the one. I caught one in this exact patch last week. So it could have been that one. Might have been a bit more sheepish than the others will be. We'll see if we get a few more reactions while we walk down now. A little bit calm. But like I say, we've had a few bites already. So I know they will come out and hit it. Even though a few of the bites have been quite gentle. I've probably had a few fellows that I've not seen as well. And then there was a bite. Oh, a little swirl from that. Gentle bite again. Just a little nibbler. Oh, it came back for it after all. That was a freaking sick hit. Freaking weedless right out the grass again just where we expected it to be super hit on that nailed it look bent the bait down but didn't get the hook i doubt that'll come straight back oh sick hit gets the blood flowing hits like that super aggressive pike but just no time to react and get a real good hook set but yeah this is where i had that very gentle bite so obviously decided he did want it in the end See my tail's a bit knackered now, so I might change that bait. Go for this blue one, different colour, but should work just as good. Good amount of hits on that already there. I think we've had five, five different fish contacts maybe, maybe four, four or five at least. So not a bad little session again. See how we get on with this colour. What you see, bite the bait, push the hook down, and hopefully you get the hook set while it's down like that. But it's not easy, I tell you, it's not easy. There's one right in the weed, right in the grass that. Oh, ooh, small fish stay down, but they stay down. <laughs> ah, yes. That was right in the middle of a patch of weed that. A little bit, just gotta keep tension with this one hook. Easy, bro, easy, easy, easy. Ooh. Small, than the last one, but it's putting up a nice fight. <laughs> so good. Man, this is a strong, strong, strong fish. Get it, man. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. That's the leader. Oh, and that's number two. <sighs> On that drug bait. Hooked. That's why you keep tension. Because <laughs> they come out so easy sometimes. But yeah, second fish. It's not a big one again, but super nice strike. See you, bro. Right in the grass where I expected him. Just got to remember this sort of bait. Got to keep tension on that fish or it'll throw the hook. It's got that one hook point on there and when it's, if it's in the roof of the mouth or right in the bottom of the mouth like that first one, it's not too bad. But when it's in the side, of the mouth, it can get thrown super easy. But well, we got another fish. Thank God. Well, I say thank God. We've not been fishing too long. Freaking hour and 20 minutes. Two pike, missed three or four. So it's not been bad at all, really. But we're gonna call it for this video in a minute anyway. Come up pretty far. And lo it looks like there's a little bit more grass in front of me, which is why I'm just powering up towards it but not seeing too much so 
yeah i think we've proved how the weedless works and swims through the grass there which was the point of the video we caught a couple of fish as well which was nice but yeah we've got a little grass patch coming up we're whizzing towards that did have a bite on the trawl where there's no weed but yeah hopefully this little patch is decent now there's a pike chasing bait right in there there was a pike chasing bait right in front of me might be a few fish around this bit you never know Looks like there might have been a match on this bit a few days ago. Oh yeah, right where that we uh, the fish got chased. Little Jackie slammed it, but no trouble. So needed to inhale the bait to get a hook set. <laughs> nice to see. Nice to get that after seeing it hitting bait though. All right guys, going up the canal as far as I'm gonna go now. Caught a couple of fish on this, had quite a few bites. Hopefully this video has shown you a reason to use the weedless stuff when you're fishing around weed and grass instead of the normal baits you know you can present the lure a lot better and not get grass all over it and ruin your casts so yeah i hope that's helped some of you guys out hopefully uh, I'll get out again with this bait i probably will do to be fair 16 centimeter drunk bait 80 savage gear super wide gape hook any super wide gape hook 80 should fit this bait obviously if you go for the 20 centimeter drunk bait you want to look at a tenno or something like that but yeah i'll leave uh, links in the description to both the hook and the bay if you guys want to check them out and try this style of fishing yourselves but yeah that's going to do it for this one hope you guys enjoyed and catch you next time